Welcome back, bro. I've been a little bit sick, so you might hear that in my more voice that I'm sick. You know, it, I think it's from working hard, actually, because it's like my whole immune system just shuts down, and I just get like really sore in my throat and stuffed up and everything. But I feel really good. You know, the haircut is on, and um, just put on some good clothes. It's, it's starting to become like summer. So the sun is out and everything. I'm really excited to make this video. It's a video of something I've been thinking about a lot recently, which is we're making men are making themselves 10 times better for women that are 10 times worse. And you might think like this is inherently sexist and this is bad and all oh, blah, blah, blah. And yay, feminism, what they're, what they're all saying. Well, it is true though. So I discovered this. Um, I discovered this in a way of. Online, there's a lot of men, right? This is how I discovered it. There's a lot of men who's preaching about making themselves better, self improvement. You know, you got Hamza, you got First Man, you know, Chris Dermy, you got Jack Hopkins from Sea of Testosterone. You got all of these guys that are making themselves teachers of, uh, of uh, self-improvement in a way. And I was really thinking like, okay, if you go through the list, you're making yourself 10 times better than your grandfather and your father. Do you think your grandfather and your father were doing meditations and working out and, and dressing properly and having his hair properly and working out properly and, and making businesses and having investments and savings and lifestyle and frame and game? And he didn't. He grew up, he got moral and values from his father and he went out in the workforce and he made money working. A normal job, regular job, and he got in. He got a marriage with a sweet and submissive and feminine woman, and they lived happily ever after. But our generation of men have to become ten times better than that for women that are ten times worse. Because if you think, how are women today? Okay. Women back then were submissive and feminine and, in a way, obedient. And they would, like, serve their men and nurture their men and take care of the household. And if they have kids, they'll take care of the kids. And they'll be an asset for the man. He will make the money. He will provide. He will protect. And she will be an asset. But now you have women being a liability, being a... Being uh, like, I, I'm going to be harsh right now. If they don't like the marriage anymore, they just take the kids in the house and half of everything that he owns and they'll say, okay, F off. That's true. That's what they do. That's what a lot of people do. Like the divorce rate are over 50%. So so just think about this, bro. You're, you're out here. You're making yourself... 10 times better and then you're, you're finally getting that one woman and that woman is women she's eating fast food scrolling her phone having all these ideologies i don't need a man i'm 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 i'm, I'm my own boss okay so she has all these ideologies and these strong opinions and she eats her fast food and she is is overweight? Like there's there's a lot of girls that's overweight right now. Like let's not let's not lie. We have an obesity problem in the West. And it's not only men that are obese because a lot of these self-improvement stuff are making people eat the gym. If you put on Instagram right now, you're only gonna see jacked dudes. I'm not saying every young dude out there is jacked, but a lot of people out there are in the gyms. So that's the woman you're running after to attract.
So you become 10 times better than your father and your grandfather and your great-grandfather and your great-great-grandfather all in one generation. And you got, you attracted the club girl, the party girl. That's what you attracted. And I know there's a lot of people out there who are saying, but you can, you can attract, you can attract this and this and that. You can attract so much more. Well, I don't see it. Yes, there are people that are getting extremely good women. Yes, there are. Yes, there are people online that show proof that you can get really good women if you're just patient. But the truth is, the majority of the women out there are 10 times worse than the generations before. Am I saying that, oh, maybe it's not worth it to do self-improvement and everything? I'm not saying that. I believe self-improvement is an extremely good activity for men to do on the sides. The thing is that you might go through all of these things, but still be short and be deemed out. You might go through all these self-improvement stuff, not really making the money and get deemed out. You can't take it. You got to take it seriously. I'm not saying that. Invictus preaches, take it seriously. Self-improvement is number one. Um, becoming Invictus is number one. But the world isn't really logical anymore. It's a little bit all over the place. So you have to understand that most of the time, most of the time, you will not get rewarded for the work you put in. Most of the time. It's, it's, a, it's a big statement, but most of the time you're not going to get rewarded for work you put in. You might see that, oh, look, my hair is good. I'm starting to get a little bit more jacked. I'm looking better in clothes. Yeah, but the amount of work you put in for that, it exceeds what you gain from it, if, if you understand. And then you have the Passport Bros movement. I'm really looking at them right now. Like, mm, what is this? And I'm really just looking at them. And yeah, they, they, they become great men and then they move out of the West. I think that's I think that's the key. Become great, become good, have it all figured out, be the best version of yourself, and then get them out of here. Just move away. I think that's the way to do it. But I'm not just gonna promote that blatantly. I'm like I'm looking into it right now because it's like, hmm. Well, that might be something. But yeah, it's crazy. We have never had a generation of men that are improving in this rapid way. While we've never had a generation of women who has been as bad as now. Like, let me be controversial right now. A little controversial take. Let me be controversial. What exactly is it that a woman should or have to do? What exactly is it that a woman have to do except be pretty, be submissive, be nurturing? That's it. And then you talk to the men, they have to look good, have the money, be protectors, be providers, um, have all of these things. And a lot of things is genetically too, like height, something we can't change. Like if a girl is six foot or a girl is 4'11", 4'10", 4'9", she's not going to have any problems. A guy is five foot something, like it's going to have it hard. Like under 5'10", under 5'9", you're going to have it hard. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, As I've said, should you just abolish the self-improvement, the becoming Invictus, the working towards becoming the best version of self? No. But you should do it for yourself. Because if you're doing this for like an end goal of, I'm going to have the women, well, the world isn't logical anymore. 
you can put in 15 years of cold, hard work and it, it might not pay off. Like, let's be honest. Let's be honest. So do it for yourself. Do it because it, it fuels you. Start to fall in love with the process yourself. Because you start attracting these women and you understand they are low value. They're, they're not going to have the ideologies of, of submitting to you and be obedient and, and, and be nurturing. And if you find that, you have to take care of it. You have to be happy that you can have that. I'm not going to hold you any longer, bro. If you like the video, like it so more people can see it. If you dislike it, then dislike it so less people have to see it. Comment down below what you think. Do you think women are becoming 10 times better for women that are 10 times worse? Subscribe, follow to be a part of the Invictus and follow the journey. Yeah, share this with someone who might need this message. Stay awake, not woke, brother.